Is this going? I think it's going. Yeah, it's going? It We're good? Yeah. Good. Thank you. Thanks. Why, hello. We are on day five. It is Tuesday. Here we are. And it is Toga Day here in oh, Toga. 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 Tuesday, March 24th. On to the birthday shout outs. Plug, who do we got? First up, from very close to my hometown, skate artist Harry Houdini. Harry Houdini's from Wisconsin? He's from Apple. Oh, really? That's awesome. I don't know that one. Um, I have Jim Parsons from the Big Bang Theory. Oh, wait, is Jim Parsons from the Big Bang Good question. That's know. Sheldon, right? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Character's very smart. Yes, he is. Who else is really smart is The Undertaker, whose birthday is today. <laughs> I was very scared of him as a child. I'll be yeah, honest. for sure. That I'm, I'm still, 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 still terrified of him. Absolutely. There we go. Moving on. Oh. Uh, so our word of the day is a really fun one. It's Haberdasher. Haberdasher. Haberdasher is someone who sells men's clothing and accessories. After stopping by the Haberdashers, you might pop into the apothecary or make a visit to the cobbler, you know, a mender of fat souls. Huh? We, we talked about that. In the 18th <laughs> yes, shoes, shoes. In the 18th century, a slang description for a school teacher was a haberdasher of nouns and pronouns. So we're haberdashers of, you know, that was that was like a triple word of the day there. That yeah. was impressive. Yeah, I know. Oh, well, we're really we, doubling down on we the already, Tuesday. We already knew cobbler though, because it's from Julius Caesar. Well, I like it. Are we moving on? Oh, like apple cobbler? Yeah, it's I like cobbler. I know. Peach cobbler. Here we go. So after all that haberdashery, we have on this day in history, March 24th, in 1603, Queen Elizabeth I passed away at the age of 69 after ruling for over 40 years. She was considered probably the most important and influential monarch. In fact, during her rule, it was considered the golden age of Great Britain. That's true. Wow. I feel like being 70 years old in like the 1600s, that's living actually pretty long. Yes, it is. Yeah. Yes, it is. Well, as we talked about in the Enlightenment, Thomas Hobbes actually lived to be over 90, and he was from around that time, so he was ancient. Wow. But yeah, I would say that was well above average life expectancy. I mean, sure. and you know, the other Queen Elizabeth, the one we have right now, she's well into her 90s. So and She's 94 currently. 94, wow. yeah. So we've wow. got two long-living Elizabeths. Speaking of numbers, here are four of them. Two are the same. Try to, oh, yep, try to get the 24. Yeah. Go for it. Email me. Yeah. T. Gathers. That was a good segue. I don't know. On to the science fact of the day. Last time we talked about Leonardo DiCaprio and the Titanic. This time, also talking about something he'd probably wish he had a life jacket. Did you know that life jackets used to be filled with sunflower seeds? Because if you have enough of them, Sunflower seeds can be used as flotation. I feel like if it got waterlogged, they would get to the point where they would kind of like sink. I mean, they have to be sealed either way, but they have a lot of air inside. Yeah. 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 Oh, so it's sunflower seed with the like the air. I believe the shell is still on. Oh, thank you. I didn't understand. Although I have no idea because I just saw this for the first time. Yeah. Cool. On to today's schedule. All right, language arts. We're going to do one of my favorite poets, Langston Hughes. He's awesome. Yes, he is a famous poet from the Harlem Renaissance, which we will be talking about later. You're going to read his biography. Remember, four important events on a new sheet of paper. Yeah, four important events on a new sheet of paper, not on the back side. No, no. Page. All right, moving on to social studies. You are moving on to your next reading guide today, reading guide eight. We are doing the vocab and questions one through seven. For math, you'll be doing lesson 7.2 on algebraic expressions, which is relatively recent, and you'll be doing numbers one through eight all. 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 Okay. So it's called O-L-L? Yeah. Oh. Like an emu. Yeah. Emu. On to our science fair, arguably I think the most difficult slides for today, the table and the graph. Not only would I highly suggest you checking out my Google Slides example, I also have a YouTube video 
up on the website giving you a tutorial of how to do this in Google Slides. If you need any help, please send me an email. I will personally either email you back your descriptions of your variables, or I will FaceTime you to make sure that we can get you all set up with your table and graph. They said subscribe and like your YouTube. You should subscribe and like. Don't forget to put a comment. You would really appreciate it. Yeah. That. You don't need to subscribe. Our moment of Zen. <laughs> Who's awesome? You're awesome. Have a great Tuesday, guys. I'll see you tomorrow. Yeah, yeah you're pretty awesome. Yeah.